Hey everybody, by popular demand, we're gonna play a little bit more 60 seconds re-atomized. It's rare for me, um, but after doing the Northern Lion tries of this, I played like at least three or four runs in my off time because I was enamored with the novelty of the game. So we're gonna try it again. We're gonna play on the, the full apocalyptic level. Default settings. I've learned a lot. The number one thing I've learned, you can ration food a lot more, and water for that matter, a lot more than I've been rationing. You know what I think strikes me the most about this game? Is I, I love this period, like, right at the start, where you get to scout out, and then you get, like, a supermarket sweep-style moment. Okay, so what's our goal? Full loads every trip. Don't take that out of context. We're getting the whole family at all times. Please make it through the door. You only get one minute. This is important. Okay, so you dump them in there. We're gonna need some more food and water. We're gonna need our sun as well. Maybe a flashlight. Hey, we got one. Um, I don't see anything else that's one size, so we'll just go in here. Grab what the hell? We grabbed the map instead of the can. That's okay. We almost got all the people. That's the start. You grab your wife. You grab a first aid kit. That's an extremely valuable tool. Okay. We don't have a whole heck of a lot of time left. This is a great opportunity to pick up some food and water. You get some water. You get some soup. You get some soup. You get some soup, please, thank you. And you realize we have an insane shortage of water. I'm gonna go ahead and grab this bottle right here. I'm looking. I'm looking. I see some more. I see some bug spray and whatever the heck this is. It's a harmonica. Get to the shelter. Okay, I'm gonna tell you. I'm gonna give us a 6.5 out of 10. Pros, we got the whole family. We got a flashlight. We got a map. We got food. We got water. Not enough of it. But I think we did okay. I We didn't waste a whole lot of time there getting ready for survival, all right? Let's see what's going on on day one. I'm ready. Look, I mean, hey, pretty fully stocked. The first aid kit is pretty big, too. All of us made it into the shelter. Our shelter used to be fully stocked, but we somehow always found a better way to use the stock supplies instead of leaving them for an emergency. Once we had a soup dinner party, another time we needed the rifle to help our neighborhood watch in a vicious fight against raccoons. But we still do have a Boy Scout handbook. Our shelves are full of cans. This is the best stock shelter we've ever seen. Okay, day one, nobody eats, nobody drinks. It's not the best time or place to make plans for the future. We can't help but think about what we can make of this terrible situation. Is our house still standing? Or will we have to move to some forsaken hole? Like Toronto! Got him. <laughs> if they said Vancouver, I would be uh, issuing a steam refund. No radio is a bad one as well. How are we going to get rescued with no radio? Okay, Ted is fine. Nothing's bothering anybody. So if nothing's bothering anybody, nobody's eating. The contamination is still strong. Scavenging could result in radiation sickness. I refuse to go right now. Mary Jane has been silent. Should we try talking to her? Yes, please. Hit the next button here. No worries, dude. Keep... You... We're on survival rations. No more of this one can of soup, one bottled water per day. Ted is thirsty. Mary Jane's thirsty. Dolores is thirsty. Timmy's thirsty. Thirsty? You get a bottle of water. How about that? Neighborhood is still highly radioactive. I refuse. We've been smelling something funny in the shelter ever since we woke up. Sure enough, there was something. Something or someone started a fire, and it's already spreading. We can't save everything. What do we save from the flames? Save the first aid kit. Leave the Boy Scout handbook. Because the first aid kit, it buys us a free scavenger if they come back and they're sick. So I, I support this. I'm, I'm, it's all about prioritization. Drugs, get the drugs. That was our first thought, and we were able to secure the med kit before it was burnt to ashes. But the fire grew quickly and damaged other supplies. We need to go through our stuff and see what's fine and what's not. We lost the handbook. Whatever. How you guys doing? Everybody's completely fine. Completely fine. Doing great on supplies. The area is still irradiated. It's unsafe unless you don't mind getting sick. Well, I would prefer not to. We always thought life could get much better. That was before we got nuked. Now we think life could be much better. In a way, not that much has changed. Keep in mind, the first time we played this on the Northern Lion tries, I think we made it to day 12, which is pretty embarrassing. We're already halfway there. We've only consumed a, a bottle of water. Everybody's feeling good, honestly. Everybody's feeling good. 
You look at this, nobody's even hungry, nobody's thirsty. Highly radioactive. Hey, guess what? We already got ourselves our very own fallout garden. We have a bunch of mushrooms growing on one of the walls. They're big enough to be eaten. How about that? Should we prepare a mushroom feast today? Under no circumstances. Not supposed to eat wild mushrooms unless you're a mycologist at the best of times. Regardless of the amount of Michaels I know, I don't consider myself a mycologist, so... We may be hungry, but there are some things we will never eat. Ted needs water. Mary Jane needs food and water. Timmy needs food and water. Dolores needs water. Okay, this is where you get a little funky with it. Everybody needs water, so let's just get that going. You are- you're not hungry. You're hungry. Kids are hungry. There you go. Can of soup each. Still, radiation is high. A few more hours of coughing and we'll get used to it. Our ventilation fans have halted and no fresh air seems to be circulating through the shelter. We have to fix it before we suffocate like rats trapped by a professional and very cruel rat catcher. Um, let's use the flashlight to fix it. Using bug spray to fix your ventilation seems to me like you're gonna accidentally fumigate each other. So let's not do that. The obvious thing to do is to check what's blocking it. However, when you shine your flashlight on a hive of mutated insects, things usually go from bad to worse. The angry hive is gone, but the insects did some biting before they fled. Yikes. Ted is hungry. Dolores was hurt. End is hungry. Timmy's okay. This is painful for me, but okay, go ahead and take the first aid kit. Look. In a pure survival situation, this might not be a wise call, okay? We might prefer to have somebody die, um, so that we didn't have to eat and drink as much. But we're trying to keep our whole family alive. It's role-playing, sweetheart. We never thought we'd live to see a dancing cockroach. We still have him, but we saw one that was nearly as big as a cat. The good news is they probably scared off any rats in the area. The bad news is they are huge and will probably attack us when we get a chance. That's where you yeet the bug spray. Although, apparently, we should have done it on the vent. How you doing? Everybody's looking good. We dodged a bullet this time. That is, if a bullet was huge, hairy, had eight legs, and a glowing head. Hopefully, we don't have to deal with them again. Look at that. Look at that. How's everybody doing? Everybody is A-OK. -okay. We've only gone through a quarter of our supplies. Area is still irradiated. We're gonna keep on grinding it just a little bit further, then we're gonna get a- We're not in emergency rations yet. Okay, we have some spiders. They're not miniature ones, but huge furry and very creepy beasts. We've gotta do something about them. Unfortunately, I have lost both the bug spray and the Boy Scout handbook. We decided we can get rid of them with our bare hands. Uh-oh. All we achieved was getting tired. That means, usually that makes expeditions harder. Where's water when Ted needs it? Mary Jane needs water, Dolores needs water, Timmy needs water. Everybody gets some water today, but we're getting tight. Neighborhood is still highly radioactive. We didn't expect to get a phone call so soon after the atomic bomb drop, yet here we are. We can clearly hear a phone ringing outside. It must be the public phone booth. Should someone go answer it? Dun, 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 dun. Let's, I mean, picking a number, the no, well, I, it's a multiple of four. You know what? You get to go. Nobody volunteers, I volunteer you. Why go out there into the radiation? We don't have a radio. We need, we need to establish communication from the outside world in some kind of capacity. Look at that, he's back already. We answered the phone. We could clearly hear a gasp of relief from the caller. They introduced themselves as... Survivors from a nearby town of Hill Valley. We started exchanging information when the call was cut short. Something must have gone wrong on their side. Dolores needs to eat. Everybody else is okay. You're Dolores. You're Mary Jane. Whatever. I should know my own kids' names by now, probably. The area is still irradiated. We're just... Going slow here. This is a radio option we can't take advantage of. We're just wait. After like 12 days... I think we can go outside without getting sick, and our rations should last us that long. Ted is hungry. Everybody but Dolores is hungry. Is this correct? Hungry? Hungry, okay. Contamination is still strong. We're gonna wait out one more day. 
Open in the name of freedom came a shout from outside our door. We weren't sure who claimed to be representing freedom, but we could hear it was a group of people, probably armed. Anyone who introduces themselves like that is probably planning to kill someone in the name of freedom. Should we open? Under no circumstances. I... Maybe next time. We'll see what goes on there. But for now, play it cool. We stayed silent. They went away. They didn't show up afterwards. Fantastic. Timmy is no longer hungry. He doesn't need much, but he should drink. Please move along. Thirsty? 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 Thirsty. No, 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 no. Are you crazy? We're not giving out soup like that. Somebody has to go out there, all right? Timmy, you're going to go out tomorrow. We're going to prepare for an expedition. When we opened the bunker this morning to let in some fresh radioactive air, we discovered a small suitcase on our doorstep. There was no note on it, and the neighborhood seemed empty. Should we take a look inside? Never look a gift horse in the mouth, unless it's a Trojan horse. Words to live by. It was full of money and jewelry. We obviously got rid of that worthless junk, but we kept the suitcase. Yo, a suitcase is super valuable. Because now, Timmy, you give him a suitcase, he can carry so much more. I think we should also give him a flashlight. Just, I, I think that might improve his scavenging odds, and he will probably be gone for several days, so get ready. We've already made it two weeks. It's a start, dude. Ted is fine. Nothing's bothering Mary Jane. Dolores is doing well. Nobody gets supplies then. Squeaky Wheel gets the grease. Today, during breakfast, we were startled when our map slid off the wall. We checked the nails holding it, but they were all firmly in place. It could be a poltergeist. Maybe we need to perform an exorcism to get rid of it. Anyway, in the wall behind the map, we discovered some sort of safe. We're curious as to what treasure might be inside. Should we open it? Uh, absolutely. What, are you going to keep a, a nuclear bar? Just a, a, a kilogram of uranium in there? Doubt it. It looks like we got bug spray, yeah. We're not sure how or why the map just decided to slide off the wall, but we're lucky it happened. Inside the dusty safe, we found some bug spray. Everybody's thirsty. Everybody's hungry. I'm gonna. I'm here to tell you. You're drinking today, you're not eating. I'm sorry to tell you. It's been a while since we showered. The smell in this tiny shelter is as far from roses as it can get. We had thought of washing ourselves. Too bad we didn't grab any soap along the way. Well, maybe if you didn't put a harmonica where the soap is supposed to go in the bathroom, it could have been okay. Anyway, I refuse to let my, my young child shower in bug spray. That's a recipe for um, a bad situation. Everybody's sick. Okay. The world has ended. Who cares about showering? Ted got sick. Mary Jane caught something nasty. Dolores is not eating for a while. Okay. Everybody's sick. That's bad. That's some bad news. That means you get some chicken noodle soup today. We were discussing plans for our first meal that didn't feature tomato soup when we heard yells outside. We discovered they come from a small group of ragged survivors. They were a sorry sight, and we weren't surprised they requested aid. They asked us to provide anything we could. Water, food, or medical supplies. You know what? We're, the only way we're going to get through this is helping each other. This leaves us with one-third of a soup can. You better give me something good in return. Let's see. Minus one soup can. They left soon after to seek, to seek shelter in the ruins of town. We hope they make it out there. Yikes. Okay. At least people are not hungry anymore, except for Dolores, who is apparently still hungry. So you get the last little bit of soup. <laughs> we do not have the radio any longer. Probably should not have given away that soup can. I was waiting for the quid pro quo. Instead, they said, thanks, let's go. Okay, Ted is thirsty. Mary Jane's thirsty. Dolores is thirsty. I got some bad news for you. The kid gets the water. We're all out of rations. We don't have a radio. Timmy, I'm begging you. You gotta return. We need you to re- He's back! And looking like a lot worse for wear. Okay. Timmy came back. He, he went to the cinema. He went in hoping to scavenge something. 
One of the surviving rooms was a small maintenance closet. The only thing inside was a bucket full of water. We managed to fill some bottles with the contents of that bucket. Let's go! Two bottles of water. The mayor's secretary was a sweet old lady who loved music. The mayor let her keep a radio. Let's go! We got a radio. We found the mayor sitting in his office on the top floor. He had a fully stocked first aid kit. Apparently, he was a bit of a health freak. All this medication seemed to have done nothing for him. He looks rather burnt with a hint of crispy and skeletal. Plus one first aid kit. Yo, that was a pretty good scavenge, but we are out of food. So what happens now? Uh, well, dehydrated means you drink. Dehydrated means you drink. <laughs> Dolores, I think, needs the first aid kit. We only have one. Okay, so that's, that's how it's gonna go. And we are gonna prepare for uh, the next expedition starting tomorrow because we need supplies immediately. We were visited by a young woman today. She is on a mission to rescue her twin brother who went missing after he challenged a local bandit leader for a duel. She said they've been observing us for a while and they were hoping to visit us together, but then her brother went missing. She asked that we help her reunite with her brother and promises we will not regret it. Send them. We, we need rewards. This is where we start to gamble. Otherwise, we're on a slow decline. Dolores, looking pretty fresh. The woman quickly called a group of friends and we set out for what turned out to be a successful mission. Finding the lost twin brother wasn't a problem. He was hanging on top of some antenna next to the fence trying to escape. In his duel, he lost a hand, but the group quickly tended to his injuries and he'll be just fine. The siblings thanked us a hundred times and said they would definitely contact us again. Thanks, I really appreciate it. Mary Jane isn't looking good. She hasn't eaten. Are there drugs we could give her? Timmy's very pale. He needs a few days to rest. Timmy needs to drink. Timmy needs food. Yeah, no kidding. Everybody needs food, okay? We got none. You you do get to you get to drink today. Dolores is going outside and she's not bringing anything. She's just we're we're winging it. We're relying on please go raid the local soup cannery. If we're to have any hope, we need it. I don't even need to read this. People are sick. People are tired. They're not in a good place. Sick, hungry. Sick, hungry, thirsty. Tired, sick, starvation. Nobody's getting anything today. We woke up to a dripping sound today and noticed there's something leaking from the pipes. That green liquid looked innocent enough even after it ate through the table and the chair and the floor. Patching up that uh, pipe is probably a good idea. Unfortunately, I brought a harmonica instead of a gas mask. Still alive. That's all I could ask for. Every day's a gift. We couldn't figure it out, so we just assumed that's what a regular pipe would do in the event of nuclear apocalypse and decided to ignore it. We've been feeling a bit funny today, though. Probably no connection to that pipe. None whatsoever. Ted has nothing to eat. Ted's sick. Ted needs water. Mary Jane needs water. Timmy does not need water. It's a blessing. <laughs> uh, you would expect the post-apocalypse to be a time of peace and quiet, since you know most of the people aren't around anymore. Yet we have someone at the door. We encountered a strange-looking man in a blue jumpsuit who asked us to trade him a water chip. A water chip? What in the heck is that? I, I cannot give you my last remaining water by ripping it away from my sick daughter. <laughs> Did you hear that? That sounds bad. We were sorry to explain we didn't know what he was talking about. Ted's Ted's sick. Yeah, no kidding. Everybody's starving to death. Timmy, are you dehydrated? No, you're just thirsty. Just just thirsty does not get water. You got to be dehydrated. But we can turn on the radio today. Please God tell me the American military is going to rescue me on day 25. I need the help. Everyone's still alive. We made contact. They're coming for us. All we need to do is wait patiently. The soldier with the boring voice was very specific. Help is on the way. Ted's weak. He's sick. Mary Jane's starving. She's not any better. Timmy is starving. He needs water now. Okay, dehydration gets water. Everybody else, get out of here. Our patience is wearing thin. We thought it would be a good idea to take a quick look outside to see if there's any trouble. As we were about to step out, a pair of animal eyes flashed in the darkness and their owner started growling in a most terrifying way. We only had moments to decide what to do. 
I don't think the bug spray is gonna help you, so why don't you use the flashlight and, and see what you can shine a light on. Okay, this seems very bad. Can't help but notice, uh... Timmy is gone, and Ted is a very fashionable skeleton. It was a dog! The poor thing seemed tired, so we let it stay with us. The next morning, we opened the door to let it out. It hasn't returned. Hopefully, it'll come back later. Mary Jane is starving. Ted is dead. He starved to death. Hunger drove Timmy insane. He has snuck out and never returned. All right. Mary Jane, you have to live. I'm sorry, a sleazy-looking traitor. I do not have a soup can to give you. Come on, Mary Jane, you're still alive. Where's Dolores? Ah, oh, we lost! We never expected a band of religious fanatics to cause any trouble. Who would? As it turned out, a cult turned, on our, turned our shelter into their temple. We tried to reason with them and strike a deal, but their only offer was to become human sacrifices to their deity. We considered it, politely declined, and set off to find a new home. We couldn't spare any food for Mary Jane, and... Eventually, she reached a boiling point where her stare was enough to kill. She left without a word, but we knew she would probably become a highway woman and get all the food cans she would ever need. Dead, 27 days in. What, what happened to Dolores? <laughs> Dolores, is, she, she vanished when she took the flashlight and ran. Oh no, you were driven away. Oh, that's okay. That's not that, that's not the worst possible outcome. But that was still better than I've ever... Well, than, better than I did in the Northern Lion Tribes. That's going to do it for the first episode of this mini-series here. I hope you guys have enjoyed it. We're going to try again next time. If you did enjoy it, click the like button. Helps out a great deal. Of course, subscribe if you want to see more in the future. And Peep uh, 60 Seconds re is available on Steam. It's a lot of fun. For now, thanks for watching. I hope you guys have enjoyed it. And I'll see you next time. See ya!